Now, we're starting the show with uh, an inspirational gentleman. Uh, we've all heard of Colonel Tom. Now we're going to introduce you to Major Mick. Uh, 80 year old Michael Stanley's from Chichester. He's following in Sir Tom's footsteps with his own charitable challenge, and that is. He's rowing 100 miles in his homemade boat. Okay, that's very important. It's his homemade boat, and he's nicknamed it the Tin Tannic because uh -huh. it's made of just two sheets of corrugated okay. iron. Well, let's go screws. live and uh, see the Tin Tannic. <laughs> and there he is. Ahoy there, Major Mick. Ahoy. Hello, Eamon. I'm very well, thanks. Yep. Very good. What are sailing conditions like this morning? Well, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit breezy, but um, nothing that the, that the Tintanic can't handle. The Tintanic is absolutely fabulous, Major Stanley. Um, tell us where the idea came from and what it actually ma consists ma of. Major, Major Mick, maybe you should come, come back a bit because you're getting further and further <laughs> away from us. Just maybe you come back to the camera, it would be great. <laughs> OK. OK, right. good man. Um, well, well, the, well, the, well, well, well the, idea, the idea came came from India, where they have uh, uh, tin boats, and that's what gave me the idea. Lovely. And the idea is all in aid of what? What are you raising money for, my friend? Well, it's for the... Uh, St Wilfrid's Hospice, who, which is located near Chichester, and um, I'm, uh, uh, you know, they're desperate for money, and uh, it takes a lot of money, 7.7 .7 million, to um, uh, keep them going, and um, I'm just trying to do a little bit to um, help them along. Well, you've done more than a little bit. So I know you set out hoping to raise a thousand pounds. The last time I looked. This morning, you've raised £17,000 already. Yes, well, it's, um, it's great and uh, long may it last. I'm absolutely thrilled that we've uh, managed to raise so much money. What, what reaction it's, are you um, getting, it's Michael? Very satisfying. What reaction? Because you're, 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 you're rowing along the canal, Chichester to Hunston. So it's, I think, three well, miles you're doing every day. What, do, what reaction are you getting from the people well, who are walking along the canal? Well, absolutely amazing. Everybody smiles. Uh, everybody's uh, got good words to say. And, um, you know, if, they, if people smile, then, um, you know, it's, uh, that's my reward. Um, and um, I must say, it's been extremely uh, entertaining, meeting all sorts of different people and all, um, you know, full of, full of, full of kindness and um, generosity. Um, I'm just looking at the tilt or the lilt on your um, um, Tintanic. What are the chances of it sinking, Major? Are, th are there any? That's a very hurtful comment. <laughs> um, no, not at all. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, um, it, 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 I have to admit, it does leak a little bit. But um, I have, a, um, I have a, a trusty baked bean tin here, which um, I take the water out. Uh, out with, and um, yes, I get on quite well. On, on, on the one and a half miles to Chichester, maybe I have to um, uh, bail about a um, couple of pints of water out when I get there. Um, um, so, 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 so it's not a problem. OK, you good. Have got, you have got the, the floats at the side, though, because I do believe you have tipped in have. once or twice. I've, I've tipped in twice from the um, when I, before I put the floats on, um, and that was into the sea, which was um, a, a, a rather nasty experience, and I lost my first telephone there. But um, uh, now that I've got the floats on, which are two uh, boys from uh, yachting boys, um, it's, it's reasonably stable. The only thing that um, it's, it's not it's not always stable. Uh, when I get in, that's the um, <laughs> the difficult part. I'm sure. And um, I, I know I, I know when it, when everyone uh, takes photographs, my friends are all hoping um, that I shall fall in. Um, but so <laughs> far, um, I, I haven't I haven't satis I haven't satisfied their desire yet. 
good. Um, I know it's your your uh, golden wedding anniversary on the 14th of What's November. 50 years. 50 years married to your, your lovely wife, Sally. Um, now, I know you've set yourself yes. certain designated rowing days. Is that a designated rowing day? Well, how are you going to celebrate or not? Well, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, I'm supposed to be rowing on that day and I'm not quite sure what my wife will say. But, oh, I um, know what my wife would uh, say. We'll have to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> so you do know what no, your wife will uh, say then? It's all... <laughs> yeah. No, but it, we're, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm very, you know, I'm, I'm very privileged to have uh, uh, been married for so long, and uh, we were married in Singapore when I was serving there uh, mm. by a Singaporean uh, in a little um, Christian church. And, um, yeah, no, it was a great day. And, um, you know, to, to, to think back now, it's 50 years is, is, is quite, 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 quite amazing. Well, 10 amazing. years earlier, my wife was born in Singapore. Yeah? Uh, yes, your wife, was, your, your wife is probably the same age as my, 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 my daughter. Um, <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, my, well um, Michael, my, my, yeah, father was an, my father was an army man. That's why I was born in Singapore. You spent 35 right. years in yes. the army. How well has that prepared you yes. for your Tintanic journey? Not at all. <laughs> uh, <I> mean, <laughs> um, <laughs> look, uh, the army walks on the, on the, on the land, um, <laughs> and I feel very precarious here on the, on the, on the water, but... Um, Anyway, it's an experience and I'm really enjoying it. It's, um, it's so nice to be able to bring a lot of joy to people, you know, who are, you know, a lot of, a lot of us are all depressed and changed, changed our, our, our lives. So, well, yeah, great, I can do a bit to... Yeah, to, it's a to great thing that you are doing. Uh, St. Morale. Wilfred's Hospice in well, Bosham. And uh, charity's yes. really suffering, which is the major and saying there with lockdown. Uh, so he's absolutely. using his boat for good. Uh, we, we, reckon, we reckon you've got, what, about 60 miles to go? Well, I think it's... Um, I've got 53 and a half miles to go. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to do another... I'm going to do another three miles after I've um, uh, spoken to you. So I shall be really up to, uh, almost halfway. Well, well, listen, don't let us well. hold you back, Major. All, You've probably done a mile going round in circles all, talking to us today. All, yeah, yeah, I know, but I, I think that's cheating. I don't think I'll be allowed to do that. Oh, I don't think anyone uh, will mind so, you doing that. Michael, it's so lovely to oh, talk to you. Major Michael Stanley, yeah. uh, who's rowing 100 miles for St Wilfrid's yeah. Hospice, Bosom. Um, he's raised yeah. £17,000 so far. Uh, good luck. And do you say it's yeah. a Facebook page he has? Is, is it a Facebook page? Just giving. Just giving. Yes. Yeah, can I, can I just say one thing that, um, you know, this canal is such a wonderful place and it's a, it's a most beautiful part of West Sussex. And um, I, I have every thank to, to the Chichester Canal Trust who keep it uh, going with uh, volunteers. They, they do a wonderful job and, um, you know, there's so many hundreds of people enjoying it now that it's being cleared. Well, um, thanks for, thanks no, for giving it's, us it's a day a out place. on it, which is, which is lovely. There's lovely some ducks, watching there. ducks. <laughs> we'll leave, Off you go into the sunset there, Major. Um, thank you okay. so thank you. very, very much indeed. Fascinating you and your tin, and nice tin boat. You. Thank you. I'm lovely to I'm talk to you. I'm saluting you now. Okay. Saluting you. Uh, okay. Long way up, short okay. way down. He's quite right too. Quite thank right you, too. Thank quite you, right Michael. Too. Major Michael Stanley. Thank you. Could chat to him who's, all day. We who's 80 all years day. of age. 80 years young. Like doing that. And well done. Amazing. So he's going to row 100 miles in his, uh, his boat, his tin <laughs> boat. Tintanic. The tintanic there. That's literally two bits of corrugated tin. Welded with, together. With screwed, he said. It must be welded at some I'm sure point. sure he didn't say that, Tony. But anyway. no, he said he bought some corrugated iron and some screws. All right. <laughs> Stop it. Anyway. anyway. <laughs>